uh, it was on the norms of Swahili translation. Mm -hmm. So I looked at um, Swahili translations, uh, prose translations, and I tried to look at uh, how um, the translators had uh, approached these works whether they were conscious of any theories, whether they were conscious of their target um, audience, which were the Swahili speakers, or if, if they were not. So it was largely that. And I looked at Swahili literature uh, from around the 1930s to recently. Mm -hmm. So this is like from colonial translations to post-colonial to, to modern times. I feel really, really very, very happy. And also I'm really excited because it shows that there is, um, you know, Swahili is a minor language, it's seen as a minor language, but it seems that it's not that minor, that pe so many people are downloading it and they're from all over the world, from Tanzania, Kenya, Germany. Um, I think there was more than 11,000 um, clicks, which is just fascinating. And um, it makes me happy in terms of my career because one, uh, it means there's enthusiasm for the language, for Swahili, for also the topic, which is translation. And um, also it probably means that um, I'm, I'm quite, um, should you say, like it, on edge, like it, it probably was a, a good topic to do. So it's really exciting for me. And what it's made me do is um, I went to, to contact some publishers in Tanzania, uh, a particular one called Mkuki Nanyota, which is the main publisher in Tanzania. And when I told him about this, he was very happy because now he can see, you know, publishing is about the market. There is a market for my work. That, and um, this has all been possible because of open access. I, can pr I, I was able to prove to him, you know, look how much interest there is and how that interest is actually global. So, yeah, I'm really very, very happy.